What is going on everybody? It's your man, Ilbad Skimitar, back with another video. How are y'all doing today? I am doing very well. Today this video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be how to be yourself. And the first part of this video, I'm just going to be going over how you can be yourself. And the second part of this video is going to talk about some of the struggles I've had with being myself lately, especially on camera when talking to you guys. And you guys need to know the truth. I gotta f***ing tell you already. Because I've been being too professional with this YouTube stuff. I want to be more like myself. And special thanks to one of my friends, Caleb, who actually told me I need to be more of myself in my YouTube videos. Because, you know, I'm kind of not. But before you unsubscribe or anything, I just want to let you know, I'm very passionate about what I do. I love making the videos. I love giving you guys quality content. It's just my personality, how I put myself out there sometimes on my YouTube videos. It's just not really me. And that means you guys are gonna see the real me. I'm a fucking weirdo. This is what some of you don't understand yet. But I'm not gonna waste any time talking about that. I'm gonna talk about that in the second part of the video. The first part of this video, I just wanna talk to you guys about why you should be yourself more, why it's so important to develop who you actually are. Before we get into this video, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you for checking out the channel. But if you want to stick around, then hit that subscribe button below and tick that notification bell icon so you don't miss a video. So why you should be yourself might be an obvious question, but I still see so many fucking people putting on this facade for people around them, people that are more popular than them, people that they want to be liked by. And I did this for a long time too. On the YouTube especially, I wanted to be professional about it, but you know, I just realized if people aren't going to like me for who I am, then I don't want you guys to be following me. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I just want to be who I really am on this channel, on the Instagram, on everything, because that's who I, that's the brand I want to build up. I don't want to build up a brand that doesn't represent who I am. So reasons to be yourself. You will develop more confidence, you'll be more happy, you won't be a bunch of different personalities every time you're with a different group of people. And more importantly, you will discover that your life will start to align more with your true path. That's what I discovered when I started to develop myself, develop who I was. And once you be yourself, who you are, you start to influence others around you. You attract more people to you through being yourself. You become magnetic. People want to follow in your footsteps, the people that still haven't developed themselves fully. <laughs> oh my god. But it starts with self-awareness, guys. And here is the best thing to do for self-awareness. Let me tell you right now, it is meditation. Meditation is the best way to develop your self-awareness. I've talked about it so many times. I'm going to keep f***ing talking about it. I accredit pretty much all of my success with all this stuff to meditation. <coughs> oh God. Before I started meditating, I was just not myself. I wasn't who I'm really truly meant to be. Like I have people coming up to me and seeing these videos and stuff and they're like, who is this kid? This is not the kid I knew back when he was a little kid or when he was still in middle school because I wasn't myself. I wasn't fully developed. Now this next thing applies to about 90% of you. Think about all the time you spend on your phone per day that you could just be spending being completely bored. See, humans today are not bored anymore. When we have boredom, we can go to the TV, we can go to our laptops, we can go to our phones. We never really take time to just think about reality, think about ourselves anymore. We're constantly consuming information. What this means is no one takes time anymore to develop who they are as a person because they're not able to tap into their subconscious mind. Listen, you're a human. You have the ability to be self-aware and all you're fucking doing is staying on your phone, staying on your laptop, not taking any time to reflect about your life, about what you're doing, about if what you're doing is congruent with what you actually wanna be doing. You're being influenced by everything you consume. 
You need to understand that. So you need to take some time to yourself to self-reflect. So the main point I'm trying to get at here is start being bored more. You need to be bored. Like as awful as that sounds, like, oh my God, boredom's the end of the fucking world. No, no, dude. Boredom is the greatest time to be creative, the greatest time to figure out what you actually wanna do. It's okay to be bored, guys. I know that big companies stress that you shouldn't be bored, you should be constantly doing things, always be efficient, always be moving. You guys tell I'm passionate about talking about this kind of shit. I hope so. So now I've told you how to be yourself, how to develop yourself, and I just wanna give you guys the inside scoop as to who I am and why you should stick around. So now I'm in my room. This is a little inside scoop as to who I am. Not really though. Does your room define who you are? I don't know about that. So let me tell you who I am. I'm 21 years old. I'm passionate about fitness and personal development and I'm a total weirdo. I absolutely love video games, but I try not to play them too much because I don't want to be completely immersed in them. I played a lot of sports as a child. I got this weird ass caricature in my room. I don't know why it's still up. My wardrobe, absolutely trash. I wear the same solid color t-shirts every single day. Let me show you guys some more stuff. I am a complete and utter computer nerd. I've always loved computers. That's why I love editing. I love software. I like programming, and I'm sure some of you are recognizing this background right now. I'm sure I've mentioned this in some of my videos, but I fucking love anime. Guess who's coming downstairs right now? Hi. Oh, my next video is how to be yourself. So I'm telling people who I am more, so. I am a mama's boy, as someone would put it. Don't you think? Yes. Yes? Uh -huh. I do love my mother. I love my whole family, but really my mom. She does everything for me, and I'm just very grateful for her. I'm very grateful for you. And I'm gonna continue to be passionate about what I do, about everything that this channel is about. This is about fitness. This is about developing yourself. This is about creating a happy lifestyle through a plant-based lifestyle. This is how to build vegan muscle with ease. This is the greatest thing that I've ever created for myself and for you guys. So the key point to take away from this video is to just reflect on everything. Reflect on yourself. Reflect on your friends, your life, your passions, your purpose. What do you really want to be like? Who are you? You need to figure that out through boredom and through meditation. Most ridiculous camera spot ever. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's no bullshit from now on. I'm showing you guys, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you and I want to bring you guys amazing content as I have been, but more so like myself. So did you enjoy this video? Did you enjoy me being myself? Some of you probably didn't, but if you did, leave a like and stick around for some more amazing vegan fitness and personal development content. And I will catch you guys in the next video.